computer giant to change their tune on music. And why she Trump pulled no punches with his presidential speech. But is he actually running or is he pulling America's leg? Plus, Hurt So Good, the legendary Oscar-winning William Hurt takes you behind the scenes of his most unforgettable flicks and a glimpse into the freaky future of humans. Then, Must Have Monday's fast-tracking you to the airport VIP lounge, because we've partnered with vendors to offer up to 70% off travel essentials that'll give you the smoothest flight of your life. This is The View, with Whoopi, Nicole Wallace, Rosie Perez, and Raven Simone. And today, Michelle Collins hits the co-host chair. It all starts now. to Michelle. Oh my goodness, Hi. hey. Nice. Thanks, guys. So happy to be back. Hello. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. What? You look a little different. What's, what? Uh... Um, well, uh, I did get a spray tan, Whoopi. I wanted to bring it up wow. just in case people thought I like went on vacation or had I like a Rachel Dolezal moment. <laughs> That's not what's happening. I got a tan, it went a little dark. Um, I know that there, they said there was a camera underneath to do like a tan cam, but I don't know where I'm fishing this out from and I don't want to think about it. But um, anyways, if they did a close up, they could see I'm very brown. It see, looks look. fantastic. I, yeah, but it's, it's very interesting getting tan. It immediately takes 10 pounds off. I, yeah. My Everywhere. motto in college was if you can't lose it, tan it. Yes. Yeah. Well, right? I need to like deep fry. I need to deep fry. That was like, my motto, yeah. Well, I should look like Twiggy then. <laughs> <laughs> You're Just. better looking than Twiggy. <laughs> Much better saying. looking. And you know, this one, uh, you know, the fights were on over the weekend. Oh, all oh, weekend. weekend. All weekend. All oh, weekend. My head was exploding. Was, it was Explain Thursday, Friday, Explain how you watched Saturday, them, though, Sunday. at the theater. Oh, my Confess. God. My stage manager, Julia Jones, thank you very much, called me out on Twitter during the show, because, you know, I tweet and watch. Right the matches during the performances right. when I'm off stage. <laughs> and <laughs> I, almost, I almost missed my cue. Really? Yes, because Brona and uh, Sean Porter were fighting. And right. Sean Porter, congratulations, you beat Brona. Holla! And, um, <laughs> you know, and uh, I was just like, I was just so excited. And I didn't want to miss Andre Ward's right. debut. Congratulations. Uh, yes. And so she tweeted me, hey, Rosie, how's the show going? Ooh, Had, you know, with the sarcasm, yeah. pulled me out. I turned flush red, and I <laughs> tweeted her back, um, great. <laughs> <laughs> and oh so I God. went back. But anyway, I, I, was, I was hanging with uh, Bernard Hopkins the other day, and he right. wanted to tell me, to tell you, he asked me to say hello. Ah. And send your love. I do love Bernard Hopkins. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. And if you're not sure what we're talking about, look it up. It'll give you something to do. <laughs> boxing, no, just baby, hang out. Boxing. boxing. So you know we have today the fabulous William Hurt, Oscar winner. Uh, and he has a new series called Humans. It's artificial intelligent robots have replaced uh, iPhones as the must-have gadget in this series. And that future doesn't seem to be too far off because the very first emotional robot just sold out in less than a minute. So what is this telling us about what we need? Where did you I mean, buy it? Where did, humans and robots. It. I didn't get to buy the robot. It's in Japan, babe. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> they need it out here. I would buy a, a robot in a minute. In a minute. Oh, my goodness. I would what? buy one that clean, like a Rosie from the Jetsons I would buy. Like, I want, like, a cleaning <laughs> one. But, like, an emotional, I have enough emotional people, like, right, maniacs. Right. Right. Oh. There she is. There she is. Right. I would buy, I would buy um, <laughs> the little boy robot from AI. I would want a little friend follow me around where... A creepy Haley Joel Osment robot? I totally no, would buy him. It was a bear. Maybe it I'm was clearing. a bear. It was a bear from AI. Oh. No, he was a robot, too. He was mm, a robot. Yes, he was a robot, too, I would but he want also a had a What are we talking Joel about? Osmond. Robots? Really? Yes. Yes. yes, I would buy one because I want a friend who I really, like... You can boss shut around. Down. She boss around and shut and down shut when down I don't want to talk to him. That... Yeah. My Aunt Felicia. My yeah, Felicia. My Felicia. My baby 
favorite was uh, Woody Allen in uh, Sleeper. Right, 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 when right. The, the, the waiter ro robots. Right. That I would like, because you know I like to entertain. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes. Well, I, I don't know. I, you, I, I part of this? You like robots? I, I, look. <laughs> I watched a, a series called Battlestar Galactica. Oh, I love that. Oh, yes. And <laughs> this idea of robots becoming self-aware and go, no, not that one. That, that's a Cylon, honey. That's not Woo! the one. Y'all have went too far back. <laughs> I want the most recent one that looks like a person. Right. See, yeah. that's the thing that freaks me out. I, I don't want it to look like someone, yeah. Yeah. but I, if I it develops like CP30. Yes. You know. that's, that's, see, that's good. Yeah. But if it develops its own totally totally thought <laughs> process, yeah. you know, it, it starts to think things and right. want to know where did I come from. You know, that's a whole other thing. And then if they take over and they're doing everything, who do we become? What do we become? The the, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe living in the matrix. Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe we can go back to what we're supposed to be and just live and be free. I'm a hippie at heart. Live and be free and like enjoy the earth as it's supposed to be and right, take but all even, the but you know that out. won't happen. But you I know, then we, one... then we develop slaves. Basically, that's what we're talking about, to develop mechanical slaves. That, because that's what happens. Mm -hmm. If they start doing everything, then who, we become oppressors again. I mean, it's, we have to have some responsibility. You know who would love that? Donald Trump. What do you think oh, about that? Just a mechanical, oh. wouldn't that help? Oh, wow. <laughs> Am I wrong? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, please. <laughs> he would love it. He would pay him nothing, and they would do everything. So oh. that's, yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, but we'd all be Donald Trumps. Right. And that is, and that's it's the question. Who do we want to be? You I can know? barely charge my iPhone. I am not part of this robot thing no. at all. No. <laughs> Did you see Big Hero 6? No. Oh, my goodness. No. That fluffy marshmallow robot was so cute, and then you just, he's sick. Oh. Nobody? No. Uh, okay. No. Okay. <laughs> so we took you with the sweet stuff, and now we're going to start talking about some stuff that's been very difficult for everybody in this country all weekend, and that is the church shooting in Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, and it put racism smack dab again in the middle of the headlines. But right after it happened, it seemed to me that a lot of people kept saying this wasn't about racism, that this was, in fact, about religion initially, which I found extraordinary. Yeah, because... a lot of the politicians pull back after they said that because, I mean, in this Sickles manifesto, um, it was all about race. Well, yeah. And, and what he said before he killed uh, nine people, he was saying that it was all about race. And we don't like to admit that in this country, but it is what it is, and it has to be addressed. Can we call him a terrorist instead of a sicko? Yeah. He's mentally, I don't think there's any like mental sickness with him. I think he's a terrorist. Well, he is also mentally sick because I think anyone who does something so horrific has a sickness. That's not like a natural human thing to want to do that. But he is 100% a terrorist. And let me just tell you that I hate how much publicity these shooters get, which I know has been talked about a lot. But it's just, you know, I think this is one of the first times where people online have really tried to make it about the victims mm -hmm. and like really trying to say, and remember, media. and yes, and like say their name, remember these wonderful, yeah. beautiful people. Mm -hmm. But even so, you kind of have to address this horrible well, can guy. I say something? Yeah, about your please, book. Please, I, yeah. I think that the initial reaction to something that happens in a church, and that church had so much significance, mm -hmm. um, so, so I don't think it was an illogical conclusion, but I think the manifesto, which came out over the weekend, made it abundantly clear that well, this yeah. was about race. How and about I, I just what want he to say, said to the, how about what the, what what the, the victim church. said right. to the, yeah, it but was I, always about I, race. I think it, it was yeah. always about race. I think that South Carolina has a complicated relationship with the Confederate flag. Right now there's a debate going on in, in the political world about whether the, the Confederate flag should be flown. I'm very proud that, that Mitt Romney, the former standard bearer of the Republican Party, came out right away and said that flag has no place. Governor Jeb Bush said well, you're the God. flag yeah. belongs in a museum behind yeah. glass. And if you go to the Holocaust Museum in D.C., there's Nazi propaganda behind glass so that students could study how on earth the Nazis carried out their atrocities. Same so I think the Confederate flag belongs behind glass in a museum. How come the candidates are so... How come the candidates are scared to say race? to talk about race. You are just supposed to be the future president of the United States. You should not be scared to tackle these issues that your public is going through. In my opinion, I, I, in my humble opinion, I think that the reason why they're afraid to talk about race is they're going to alienate the racists who are going to be potential voters and because there's no other reason not to talk about it. And, and I just really, and I also, what we were discussing behind 
closed doors is that I still do not understand the pride behind the Confederate flag. The Confederate flag was a response to slavery. They wanted to, uh, to, to separate themselves from the United States because they didn't want to lose their cotton pickers. They didn't want to lose their slaves. Mm -hmm period, end of sentence. You can debate that it was about Lincoln wasn't on the ballot in certain states. Come on, let's get real people, the Confederate flag. This is the origin, sorry. Well, <laughs> I'm from San Francisco, California, so far be it from me to make an articulate case for the, the, the broader history, but I think that that's why if you put it in a museum, you can take some of the sting out of this yes. debate. So right now it flies, um, it's not at half mass, and it flies in front of the state capitol. Well, well, it should, I mean, uh, you know, it should not be flying anywhere. Mm -hmm. It is part of history, yes. We all get that. We're all, we all know the pride that you have in the South, but there is a stink, and I'm not gonna repeat what Rosie just said because she, she laid it out. You gotta really come, you gotta come up and step up. This is a, a conversation that we've but I, had I just for wanna, years and I wanna years, say the other side know? though, because I think people in South Carolina are grieving right now and they're in a lot of pain. And I think that Lindsey Graham sat here as this was going on and articulated that, that this, this shooting is not a window into the hearts and souls of South Carolina. And no it's one not. Is, no but, one is but what that. I would say, and you know, we have a lot of viewers in South Carolina. I vacation in the yes, South with yes, my yes. family. They're all loyal uh -huh. viewers and they're, they're grieving. And so I think in this moment, I think to understand what you very obviously feel very passionate about, about the Confederate flag distracts from all the other beauty of the South. So I think it just may be a moment. I think after Wednesday night, that flag may mean something different because that killer put it on his shirt. He put it on his but, vest. He, but, he laced it, it through his manifesto. My God, listen, this, is, this debate has been going on for a while. There was a TV show where the car had the Confederate flag on there. We've been having this conversation a long time. And I think people are now to the point where they're saying, okay, we can't really see very many other reasons because the only other argument you can make against having this flag be as spectacularly shown as it is around the South is the Nazis. Mm -hmm. I mean, it would be like having the, the swastika and in flag Germany, in flying Germany, illegal, on your right? next door illegal. neighbor. But in some religions, in Germany, oh, we have yeah. to go, right? Some religions, they took that swastika. Yes, but, and, right, and, now, but right now I you agree. can't. You, you can't do it. It's I agree. A, it's, it's too a, early. It's, it's too soon. It's not even too soon. It's just that is a part of history in Germany that they are struggling desperately to get away right. from. And part of the reason that they have to have this conversation about the flag is because if it continues to fly, the statement that's being made, and not just in South Carolina, all over, wherever it's flying, is that we miss this really crappy part of history. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, is where the conversation has to begin. None of us want slavery. None of us want the connotations that that flag gave to people. And I think we're biggest uh, uh, Americans and biggest human beings to at least have the conversation and to call racism racism when we see it and not try to couch it in something else. Like, I'm gonna get in big trouble now. People are gonna think, you know, I don't like advertisers. I love the advertisers. That's why we're gonna go and come <laughs> back with more Hot Topics. Swift action. Taylor got one of the biggest companies in the world to cave in less than a day. But a bad apple may not be the problem. Next. talking about race and all kinds of stuff and sometimes you know uh when you have things the, the property belongs to someone like a spider-man you know there are the whoever created it has the right to say what it should be always and forever and so apparently uh, one of the joys that they found out in the leaks at over at sony My was favorite that story in uh, the world. it's the greatest ever <laughs> uh is that uh, Son uh spidey must be white and straight just like president, right? It's like Spider-Man and president. Now that's, I, I don't know how you'd know what he was. <laughs> well, so that's what I said in the meeting and y'all made fun of me, but well, I said I thought he was- Well, because he takes off the mask, I didn't he's know Peter that Parker. Part. Yeah. Well, I thought he was 
red and blue. So I didn't know yeah. color no. or no. no. I'll be well, honest, that I turnout that he just had, I'm sure the, the fellas would definitely be able to do that a lot better than a straight boy. <laughs> That, yeah, no, but that turn out, that turn out. Wouldn't it be great if Spider-Man was gay? That would be yeah. like fabulous. What? Like, what? grabbing margaritas, just Why like, wet, margarita, wet. Think what? about it. How much fun would Spider-Man be? Why can't he be gay? Why can't he? I'm saying I wish he would. I would want to hang with Spider-Man if he were gay. I'd be like, Spider-Man is so crazy, you guys. We had a crazy Saturday night. <laughs> we went out. We like, he's so nuts. We met 50 guys, whatever. I would love that. And even in a black and gay, that's, you know, that's my favorite combination of any person. Like, but wasn't the last guy who played Spider-Man, wasn't he Latin? The actor? I don't. Who? Andrew no. Garfield? Is so white. No, he's really. <laughs> he's, white. Like, he's whiter than me. Oh, maybe I was no, wishing. There's a, there's yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, no, there, there's some white guys up there. Those are like, well, he, yeah. He's, I have an issue with when you say me. white. There's different types of white. He could be Italian American. He could mm. be something else American. There's other kinds of white. No, I, I, th white I, I do think that they're talking about, we don't care if he's Italian. We don't care if he's Greek. He got to be white. Mm. <laughs> he can't be black. Can't well, be Latino. Well, Donald Glover. They, Glover. they wanted him to be Spider-Man, and then that didn't happen. Um, Donald Glover from well, also, Community. Well, also, didn't Batwoman, Batwoman, or some bat got married? Catwoman. Catwoman. Was it Catwoman that married Batwoman or something? No. What? Yeah, some crazy There's stuff There's a new Spider-Man that's supposed to be half black and Spanish or some type of colored connection, which is going to be awesome. Oh, see, that's the new one. That's that Spider-Man is. <laughs> but that's like a CGI. That's just I mean, the those are just as important. That looks like your robot story from five minutes ago. What I'm sorry, that? guys. That's a drawing. I'm just yeah. like, <laughs> somebody drew that. That's a cartoon. I was like, uh, who okay. is that? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm like, I saw y'all right. getting uh, all hot and bombed. No, <laughs> so cartoon. We solved race relations in we America. Have. Spidey will well, be gay and black. Oh, that's my right. God. Please. Well, you know I the hope craziest happens. thing? There was, there was a, a movie called Harvey. Do you know that movie? Yeah. Where... Uh, the man thinks he's talking to a yeah, giant puka, a giant rabbit. rabbit. Well, it was done originally as a stage play, and it was something I wanted to do because I thought it's such a great story. And also, in those rights, always to be played by a man really? and always to be played by a white guy. Yeah. That's and crazy. I mean, it's just people write stories and they have the right to say who they want, but it just shoves a lot of folks out the way, damn it. Yeah. But you know who wasn't shoved out of the way? Whoop. That's all right. <laughs> Yo, like, I don't know what she's talking about, but OK. <laughs> Are you high, Whoopi? Are you high? <laughs> That's what people always think. But you know, Taylor Swift just got one of the biggest companies in the world to crumble. One could say Taylor Swift made Apple crumble. I love that. OK. There you go. I didn't, no, no. I didn't come up with it. It, it was somebody else came up, one of our Fabulous people came up with that. And uh, she boycotted Apple's streaming service, uh, music service, not paying artists. Uh, they're on the free trial. And Apple caved and said they'll start paying up. She I says she her. did it for young and upcoming musicians. I love that. And you know what? I love that she takes a stand for other people. Obviously, there's a self-interest there. But she's already very successful. And I love that she takes these stands. They're, they get lots of attention. Everyone's talking about this. And now maybe an artist without all the sort of capital that she has mm. can walk in and say, I, I want to do what she's doing. How much are they paying the artists, though? That's my question. I don't know. Are they just throwing them? Because, you know, okay, they're getting paid, works, but it's crazy. like, what is the, you know. Well, if you own the publishing, you get paid every time that your record is played. Um, it like or, or bought, or, well, it depends upon your deal, uh, how many pennies oh, on the do mm. dollar okay. that you get on the back end after all expenses are recouped from the right. record companies. And so with a new artist, it's, it's very, very difficult. Because they're giving you, the record company is giving you money mm. to go do what you need to do, so they're recouping. Mm. So you don't see anything for quite some time. I cannot wait like for my album to yeah. drop. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah. We have to really sell stuff now, because I messed up in the first time, so we got to go right <laughs> Right now, and we'll be back with more hot topics because we got sell, sell, sell. Breakup rumors have been swirling over one of TV's hottest couples, and Marge and Homer finally talk back. Next. Hey, now welcome back. You know, a Texas pastor wants you to watch your mouth in the bedroom. <laughs> he says that if a woman <laughs> if a woman screams, oh God, during sex, they should be thrown in jail. <laughs> Arrest every 
woman in yeah. this audience. But Bring out the cuffs, he okay? Didn't say that one thing about a man. <laughs> but but you know first of all, sir, I don't mean to be a bonehead, but how do you think you're gonna enforce this? <laughs> Just a question. I mean, this whole table would be in jail. <laughs> Lightning strikes he, the entire All studio. his men would be in jail. He didn't say, no, 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 no. He Doesn't didn't say that. one thing about a man. He didn't say that a man would get thrown in jail for anything. Just the woman would get thrown in jail for using God's name in vain, which actually means no reason or useless. That is very useless when you scream that name. Well, maybe he, yeah. never, had, maybe he never had a really good orgasm, so he never thought <laughs> in his mind. Be flattered. Don't you think God is flattered? Oh, I'd be God. like, yeah, girl, get it. I'd be, like, oh, I mean, I'd be watching if I was God, like full binoculars, telescope, like that was nice, like that. That's oh, what I don't wow. understand about Judging certain them. people in religion. No offense, I just don't understand this. How they condemn sex so much? When how else would we be here? Well, you know, what can we say? That it's valid. You see me? I don't know what to say I don't about it. I understand that. I don't understand that. Well, here's something that really pisses you off. Oh God. <laughs> you know, speaking of that, one of TV's most beloved couples has been making tabloid headlines these days with their marriage, because supposedly it's on the rocks, and they're finally breaking their silence. Take a look. Hello. Homie and I are here to address baseless rumors that we are going to split up. Now listen here. Marjorie and I are as solid as a rock. I mean, if she didn't dump me when I nearly slept with the donut lady... Maybe we shouldn't be discussing this in front of the whole world. Oh, uh, look, here's Cupid to save everything. You see Cupid, I see a baby whose diaper you never change. <laughs> Honestly, it's like, forget... Forget Benifer. Like, forget Benifer. I'm right. worried about Marge and Homer. Like, are there moving trucks outside of their home? I want to know everything. <laughs> well, this is what I'm worried about. Well, you'll what? have to go to Springfield. I, Isn't that is where it? they're from? Yes. yes. OK. I feel like it's the longest couple in entertainment history. It's like the longest. Mm. My big. So very My big. The, you know this, this claw machines? Mm -hmm. Have you ever spent just ridiculous amounts of money in the claw machine? Because there's a. Every week. Yep. There's a woman. She's gone viral for finally catching something in the claw machine, but she's been trying for 20 years. Wow. And apparently she's, she's, it's like crazy. Like, show, show the people. Explain. Sure. <laughs> because it's just the like For some reason, I just kind of had this, like, feeling that this was going to be the time, and it's never happened, and they but it was like, it was kind of something that like I knew. Okay, cool, had her number because they have ones that are a sure thing. You know, those are the really? only ones. Oh, yeah, you get something every time and you get to keep clawing. I, I'll, I'll call her I think later. She, I think yeah. that's... Yeah. I don't think that's Honey, a real I'm, video. I'm going to call you. I think you. that's a fake you video. She fake? wasn't crying. There was no tears. There was no yeah. celebration. Close, but no cigar, babe. At least Literally. not with me. Hey. But we will be right back with one of the best actors on the face of the earth, the amazing William Hurt. We'll be right back. career is so stellar that I don't know one actor who wouldn't want to have it. He's been nominated and won countless awards, and now his new series, Humans, Artificially Intelligent Beings, have been replaced, uh, have replaced iPhones as the must-have gadget, and he's grown very attached to his. Take a look. Dr. Milliken. All right. Most amazing, William Hurt. <laughs> Before we get to your show, I want to talk to you because I've always wondered, because you do so many different kinds of movies. I mean, you did Kiss of the Spider Woman, History of Violence, Body Heat, Children of a Lesser God, Broadcast News, Big Chill, uh, 
Tuck Everlasting. What does a William Hurt script look like? So you, someone sends it to you. What do you look for? It looks like an aquarium. <laughs> um, I'm looking for, uh, the first things I'm looking for are signs of um, authentic character. Right. And at the same time, meaning. Right. And at the same time, structure. Yeah. And relationships that are accurate. Right. And real and um, beautiful writing. I'm looking for people who want to actually bring that to life. Right. In a way that there's a chance for that. Right. So a few things. So now, when we look at this new show that you're doing, Humans, is that what it offered you? What, what was it about this script that socked you and said, I got to do it? I've made about 100 movies and um, about a dozen times within the first few pages, it just goes right. whack, lights you up. Right. So this was there. What's the weirdest movie you think you've ever made? Oh, wow, well, I don't know what to... Uh, I, might, I might tell people to think that's weird, and they were thinking, oh, but that's perfectly normal. <laughs> um, um, I, I, I called up um, my agent uh, when I received the script for History of Violence, and I thought, is this really for me? Did you send me is this a mistake? Because I didn't think um, anybody would be offering me something like that. Why not? Because, you know. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, she said yes. It was specifically from Mr. Cronenberg for you for this role. Right. So then I, I, um, I leapt for joy. Loved it. It's an amazing yeah. film. But then I want to go back to uh, this TV show because artificial intelligence, we had a brief conversation <laughs> at the table. Is that something that interests you? Is that something that got you excited? Do you? foresee that in our future, artificial intelligence? I think it's not in our future. I think it's here. I think, I think we're in it. I think yeah. we're in the shoot right now. I think we're in, the, we're, in, we're in the eye of the hourglass, and we're going. Really? Yeah, we're there. So if you could get a, an AI, would you have one at your house to hang out with? Well, I mean, this, this way of posturing the question. Right is really enjoyable to me because it's asking the questions we would ask if this was happening now in the, in the forms that it's happening now. Right. We're not, seeing, we're not going to see those forms for some time. Right. And by the time we do see advanced forms of it, they may not be pictured like that. We may not even be like that. Right. Um, this is coming on so fast, I would say, that the exponential expansion of right. it is right. equal or parallel to... Right. The scariest thing in a physis physicist's right. arsenal, which is of questions, which is the exponentially expanding rate of the universe itself. Right. I don't think there's anything rigged in a in human right. um, construct that can parallel it, can parallel right. that what the terrifying lack of control right. that we have about that universe problem. Do you think if uh something like humans does happen for, for real human beings. Do you think that it is a good thing for artificial intelligence to be aware of who it is and to evolve into the next form of person? Or should they, should, are there things that should not happen when scientists create this? If sentience is allowed to happen, mm -hmm. it's going to have to be permitted to be surprised. Right. It's going to have to be permitted to suffer. Wow. Um, it's going to have to be permitted to make discoveries the same way you and I are permitted right. to make discoveries. And that it means you're actually downloading your concept of humanity right. into it. And one of the most important algorithms of humanity is right. the unknown. Well, look. The adventure. We have to talk more. Unfortunately, we, had, we ate our time up because I was asking you questions I was interested in and I forgot. Okay. Um, <laughs> please come back anytime.
we thank you for coming this time. Uh, Humans premieres June 28th on AMC. And as always, we will be right back. to airport travel these days? Well, today's Must Have Monday is going to prove you wrong because we've got amazing travel essentials for up to 70% off while supplies last. Here to take us shopping is ABC Lifestyle contributor, our friend Rachel Smith, and checking us in is our very own special gate agent. You may recognize her. No peanuts for you. Yeah, everyone, no every water. man and woman with yeah. a flight attendant fantasy is very happy. Okay, so what have we got, Rachel? Well, first up, we have, oh, she is already checking us in, making sure our items are legit. But first up for grabs, of course, we've got to get our things packed. Yeah. So why not do it in a co fun, colorful way? Right. Easily recognizable bags here. These are... <laughs> That's what really happens. We're keeping it real. Truly, okay. this is, yeah, we're so keeping it real here. These these, are, this is a carry-on, Absolutely, obviously. these are great okay. carry-ons. Okay. They're travel bags by uh, Carrie Mate by Donnie. So here we have a tote option, then we have this really cool roller, but I think Ooh. it would be great for travel, but also like to take to the farmer's market for groceries, for sure. art supplies, for your art classes. I love that. Okay. And they have and so many great compartments. very nice quality. They feel great. What's yeah. the regular price? So they retail for up to $65 yeah. each, right? Okay. But these are, these are pretty awesome bags, but Ooh. our deal, check it out. It's as low as nineteen dollars. Wow. Wow. What do you think, Rick? You like it? Um, well, I, I didn't find any baby bottles or any. Sippy cups. Um, any That's sippy what they cups. always find. They Thank don't goodness. find the bombs, but they find sippy cups. Okay. But you will find makeup brushes in our travel what bag. What on earth would you need this many I makeup mean, brushes? I mean, honey, who doesn't? applying makeup, Amazing. brushes are a necessity. This is a 32 set of makeup brushes from Blend Mineral Cosmetics. Beautiful. It's like, brushes are key to applying that makeup, like getting that, that look that you're trying That's to achieve, right? and they help you really efficiently apply your makeup. I, I like live That's for my contour. That's a lot of brushes, girl. That but looks like an artist. Beautiful. You know what, I only... Like, I would, I'm so cheap. I have like one for everything, which is partly why... Yeah, but that one brush could cost you like 30 bucks. Right, so what's you know? the price for these? So they retail, Ooh. this entire set retails for one hundred and twenty nine dollars yeah. but our deal watch out thirty nine yeah. I'm gonna get them yeah, oh. beautiful and then they wrap up like this any and every brush imaginable very very nice so okay cool. and what do we have here oh you guys are gonna love this wireless headphones by Panasonic yeah. Electronics off before we go, including your Bluetooth headphones. Yes, that is really? true. Really? Yes, yeah. Sure. Okay. It is Bluetooth. They are Bluetooth. Yes, okay. exactly. So, but look, you don't have that pesky cord, you know, so you've got to connect it to your cool gadget. Put them on. Very comfortable. On one side, easy touch buttons for making and receiving calls. Uh -huh. The other, you can jam out to your favorite too. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, they retail for two hundred dollars. Two hundred bucks. I would never spend oh. that. Okay, what's but the deal? Our deal. Check it out. Ninety-two dollars. Wow. Very nice. And the charge lasts for thirty hours on one charge. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, now what have we got here? I mean, hello. You can't go anywhere. Any kind of definition without your shades. So these right? are fashion sunnies by Very Giving nice. Tree Eyewear. Very nice. Two I'll different see. styles. Kind of a classic seller aviator look. Six different colors. They're virtually, guys, unbreakable and scratch. She can't even hear. Ooh, ah, whatever. She's enjoying her these. tunes. But I they're virtually these. unbreakable and scratch resistant, oh. so the kids can sit on them. That's cute. You can That's throw them in your cute. tote bag. They're not going to scratch up. Okay. So they retail for up to. One in there for me, please. Okay. One hundred and nineteen dollars. Yeah, they're but nice our quality. deal. Check yeah. it out. As low as forty-two oh. bucks. Those are great. Proceeds go to charity as well. Okay. Finally. I love these. Tell us about these. Okay, these are items by Lotus, and okay. they are genuine leather crossbody bag, and this is so cool. We've got a really nifty passport cover. Yeah, I love that. And I you can put your that. ticket Bill in Wolf, there, I your found license. Your passport, Bill Wolf, I found your passport. <laughs> That's our producer. Right here. We're going to keep him in America. So these are great. run off with it. I love this, yeah. but, uh, and then it even has a little secret compartment for your valuables. Oh, I love that. Okay, so and what's the regular price? Up to $182. Beautiful. Beautiful but our model. deal for these lovely gems, 
as low as $29. Fantastic. <laughs> off. These are great. Great, but, great haul today, Rachel. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you. While Rachel loads our bags, we want to thank Rachel Smith. Members of our audience are going home with luggage and a set of makeup brushes, those fabulous makeup brushes. For more information, You know, Michelle will be back tomorrow. We hope she's going to come back for good at some point. We love her. We want you to know that we're thrilled that you came to see us because without you, who are we? And we want to say have a great day and take a little time to enjoy whatever view you happen upon.